Welcome to Soup Talk Recipes. Today we're making rice cooked pork. Yes, finally! After I got so many requests of this, I know I have to make it. It is so classic that every family in Sichuan knows how to make this dish. Today I'm sharing you my version. First, you need a nice piece of pork belly. Make sure it has that clear layer. That will ensure your pork turn out juicy and flavorful. Prepare a pot with water. Bring this to a boil. Then adding few slices of ginger, two pieces of leek. Make a knot and add it in. One tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine, half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. Then put your meat in. Twice cooked pork. That means we need to cook the pork twice. So this is the first time. Turn the heat to low and let it cook for twenty minutes. This is twenty minutes later. Test it with chopstick. If the chopstick can go through easily, that means it is ready. I'm going to put this in the fridge. It will help to cool down the pork faster. Also, it will dry out the surface of the pork and lock the juice inside. So when you cut it, there won't be water splash everywhere. While waiting, you can prepare your vegetables. Ginger, slice it. Then cut it into strips. Three cloves of garlic, peel it and then roughly chop it. Leeks. Actually, I'm not sure what is the right name of this in English. It is grilled from garlic. We call it xuan miao in Chinese, which means garlic sprout. Chilies. I use. Three green chilies and one red chilies, roughly cut it into small pieces. Now you can take the pork out of the fridge and cut it into thin pieces. Let's start cooking. Heat up your wok, add a little bit oil in it, and put in your pork. Try to separate the meat so most of the pork touches the bottom. Let one side fry for twenty seconds, and then give it a mix. Separate it again and cook it for another twenty seconds. After three minutes, you should see the fat is coming out from the pork. If you don't like that much fat. You can take some oil out. I don't mind it, so I didn't take it out. Now it is the time for the seasoning. One point five tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. One point five tablespoon of the broth that we cook the pork with. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sweet bean paste, which we call 甜面酱 It is optional. This is what I use. It is made from fermented soybean. One point five tablespoon of 豆瓣酱 This is the most common sauce in Sichuan. If you like Sichuan food, you should store one bottle in your kitchen. Mix the pork with all the seasoning. Keep cooking this on medium heat. You can tell it is ready by the color. The pork is really flavorful now. Then you can add in the rest of the ingredients: the garlic, the ginger, the leeks, and the chilies. Give it a mix and turn the heat to high. Stir this for two minutes until the chilies is getting a little soft. And everything is well combined. Take it out, and you're done. We normally serve this with white rice. 
The pork is soft and flavorful. If you eat it once, you will understand why it is the must-try dish when you visit Sichuan. Seriously, I can finish all of this. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know how it went. As always, the recipe is going to be in the description. You can check that out. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episode. If you want to learn more about me or support me, check out my Patreon link. And I'll see you next time. Bye.